Hi friends, hope you have been well. I'll be showing you how to make an elegant flower bud headband. This project is perfect for beginners, so don't worry if you're new to crochet. These are the materials you will need. Two different color yarn of your choice. I use Lincraft double knitting 8 ply yarn in gold and red. 4mm crochet hook. Two stitch markers. Stitch counter if you have one. Yarn needle. Scissor. Measuring tape. 6mm pearl for the flower bud center sewing needle and a little bit of thread of your choice to attach the pearl later on. We are going to start by making the headband. So using the gold yarn, tie a slip knot. Leave approximately 20 cm tail for seaming later on. Chain 11. Grab your stitch marker and mark the last chain. This stitch marker will help as a guide. This spot is where you will be doing your first double crochet. In row 1, we want to do turning chain 3. Turning chain is the same as a chain, but it simply means that we are going to be skipping this last 3 chain as this will form the height for our double crochet. So skipping the last three chain, we are going to do eight double crochet to the end. So that's one, seven more double crochet to go. To do double crochet, first yarn over, Insert your hook to the next stitch. Yarn over again. Pull the hook through one stitch. Yarn over again. Pull the hook through two stitches. Then do one last yarn over and pull through the remaining stitches. Let me show this again. First yarn over. Insert your hook to the next stitch. Yarn over again, pull the hook through one stitch. Yarn over again, pull the hook through two stitches. One last yarn over and pull through the remaining stitches. Now we have reached the end. Row 2, turning chain 1, turn work, 8 single crochet. We are going to repeat row 2, so row 3, turning chain 1, turn work, and 8 single crochet. Row 4, turning chain 3, turn work, 8 double crochet. Thank you. 
In row 5 and 6, we're going to be repeating row 2 and 3. We are going to keep continuing in this repeating pattern. So next, for row 7, we are repeating row 4. For row 8 and 9, we are repeating row 2 and 3. To help you, I'm going to leave this row 4, row 2 and 3 on the top right hand corner so you can refer to it easily. Oh, I'm loving this pattern. It's looking super pretty. This is the time to use a stitch counter if you have one. Set your stitch counter to 9 as we just finished row 9. Now, moving forward, we are going to keep repeating row 4 then row 2 and 3 in the same manner. So this means for row 10, repeat row 4. For row 11 and 12, repeat row 2 and 3. And as always, feel free to experiment with your chosen yarn, hook and embellishment. I sometimes find the repetition of a process can be quite soothing. At row 39, mine is about halfway done. This is totally off topic, but I'm getting my nails done today. I think I'm going to get the flower theme going. Okay, I'm back with my new nails. And I just love it. So let me just show it to you real quick. Ta-da! If you are still here, give me any flower emoji in the comment down below. I always appreciate your comments and to hear your thoughts, so don't feel shy to say hi. When you feel like pausing, it is a good idea to measure your head circumference or the person you're making this headband for about now. So when making the headband, we're gonna aim for a snug fit. So we want to take approximately 10 cm off. For example, um, my head measures 59.5 cm. So in my case, I will stop at around 49 cm, give or take. This is important. Whatever you do, make sure you finish the last row on the double crochet row. So uh, the aim is that we want to have a mirror shape stitches when we join the headband later on. So let's keep going. I will see you at the end of your double crochet row. So now I just finished row 76. I just measured this and it's approximately 47 and a half centimeter unstretched. So this is it for me, I will stop here. This should give enough stretch later on. Now we want to grab our stitch markers and mark the live stitch. I want to also mark the join of the headband loosely for now. This is the time to decide our wrong side and right side. So in crochet, the right side is generally the prettier stitch. For this one, it's actually harder to see because our stitch mirror each other on both sides. 
So you can just pick the sides that you like more. I'm going to pick a side that has more defined stitches as my right side. We're going to do slip stitch to the first corner to join the headband together. We will be using the red yarn to do this. Hook the red yarn and pull it through. I hope you're enjoying this video. I would really appreciate it if you can share the video to your friends and family to help the channel to grow. Before we actually do this border, it's important that you determine the side you like and you want to make sure that you have the right side facing you when you are doing the stitches. The reason is because the back of the border will have like a this little stitches running through at the back while the front of the stitches will look a lot neater. Grab both the end tail and the live red yarn together and we're going to chain one. I'm just grabbing both to save some time from seaming later on. Our pattern will be slightly different as most likely you won't be ending your row at row 76. So I'm going to teach you how to create this border. We are going to be doing either chain one and slip stitch back loop only or chain two slip stitch back loop only. To determine this is that whenever you see this bunch of stitches, you're going to be chaining two. And when you see a normal like single chain stitches, then you're just gonna be chaining one then slip stitch so let me just show you what i mean when you see this this bunch then chain two then slip stitch So this stitch, the normal stitch, chain one, back loop only. When you do this part, don't get nervous because there is really no right or wrong in here. It doesn't really matter if you accidentally do chain two or chain one, as long as you somehow alternate in between and it'll be right. It'll come out beautiful, you don't have to worry. This is what the front looks like and this is the back. We are at the end now. Grab our stitch marker and secure this live stitch. We want to join the golden part of our headband now. Grab your yarn needle we are going to close this using the end tail yarn. Weave through in zigzag motions. I'm only weaving through the top stitches for this one. Do this until the end, then gently pull so you have this scrunchy like shape. Let's keep going now with our red border. Remember, make sure you are facing the right side of your work when doing this border. With the red yarn, do a slip stitch to join. Then let's tighten some more. Now we will be doing the same thing as the other side. Whenever we see this bump, chain two, slip stitch, back loop only, or chain one, slip stitch, back loop only.
For the last slip stitch, we will be using this connecting stitch gap. Make sure you insert your needle from the left side for this slip stitch. Let's transfer this slip stitch to a stitch marker for the time being and start making up the gold yarn first. Cut the connecting gold yarn. Tie some knots and tighten some more. Cut the yarn so they are about the same length. Then let's grab our yarn needle. We do this so we can weave both threads at the same time. Cut the remainder yarn. Cut the connecting red yarn next. Tie some knots around the band a few times. Weave through the remaining red yarn. We finished the headband! Hooray! Now let's make the flower bud. Using the red yarn, we're going to create a magic ring. I created a magic ring tutorial. If you need help with creating a magic ring, be sure to check it out. I will link it here on the top right hand corner. Round 1. 6 single crochet in the magic ring. Tighten the magic ring here by pulling the end tail so we can identify our first stitch. And close this ring with a slip stitch. Then chain 1. Please note that I don't count the chain as my first stitch. 1 single crochet. Grab our stitch marker and mark the first stitch in the round. Two double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to repeat this two more times. So, one single crochet. Then two double crochet two more times. We are at the end. Take off our stitch marker. Join with a slip stitch to this first stitch. Leave a thread enough for sewing, cut and pull through. We are so close now. Let's attach our cute flower bud to the headband. Using our yarn needle, we want to weave in the last yarn we just cut earlier and moving it towards the middle. Put it through the middle hole. This will bring both of the red yarn to the same spot. Thread through the second yarn also. We are going to fasten this flower bud in the center. Weave in a few times, then for the last one, make sure the yarn is at the back side.
tie a few knots. Cut remaining yarn. Our lovely time together is nearing the end. All we have to do is attach this pearl at the center. Have a wonderful morning, day or night, wherever you are. If you are making the headband, let me know in the comments down below. And feel free to send me photos in my email as I would love to see them. Visit my channel for more arts, crafts and design videos. I'll be linking my crochet playlist at the end of this video and I hope to see you there.